Let's answer the question asked by one of my patrons. Flashware, how significant of a problem that is when we are talking about flight controllers. If you don't know it yet, every flash memory has the right cycle limit. Every write operation damages the memory a little. Each write cycle degrades the internal structure. By how much? Luckily, not that much. Because, depending of course on the model and the manufacturer, the life cycle that each flash memory should survive is somewhere between a hundred thousand or a million cycles. That means nothing really should happen for at least a hundred thousand write cycles. Each cell that represents a single bit should no problem be written at least a hundred thousand times. In context of the flight controller, as you can imagine, it's not really a problem because the MCU the STM32 on the flight controller should survive at least a hundred thousand flashes and safe operations combined. And that's hundreds if not thousands of years of normal usage of the average flight controller. Because the right cycle happens only when you flash the new firmware or save the configuration. Simply powering up or down the flight controller does not perform a right cycle on the flash memory. What about the external flash memories for the black box locks? It's also not really a problem, because the way that we are using those flash memories is we are using them linearly. When we record a new flight, we are not overwriting the previous flight. We are populating the sequential next addresses in the flash memory. That means that each record a flight and then erase counts as two write cycles. At least 50,000 cycles, that's not really a practical problem. If you would like your question answered in form of such a video, please consider becoming my patron, because you know, it helps the channel and you will have something to brag about. In the meantime, here's the next video for you. I'm Paweł Spychalski, thank you very much for watching and like always, happy flying!